Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons. To alert you when to use caution, most leaf blower repairs will require some disassembly of the product. Before you attempt this, make sure the engine has cooled. Next, you should remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. We recommend emptying the fuel tank as well. To access and remove the carburetor, unthread the screws to release the air filter cover. Remove the filter and the filter gasket. Lift off the throttle control cover, as well as the locking cap. Use needle nose pliers to rotate the throttle plate clockwise to release the tension and detach the throttle cable. Note the orientation of the primer and intake hoses, then disconnect them from the carburetor. Next, use a T27 Torx bit to unthread the carburetor mounting bolts. You can now slide off the gasket and remove the carburetor. Before you reinstall or replace the carburetor, the mounting bolts should be inserted through the air filter housing. Now slide the carburetor onto the bolts, followed by the gasket. Thread the bolts into the insulator and tighten. Connect the intake and primer hoses to the appropriate ports on the carburetor. Insert the throttle cable through the hole in the bracket. Then align the cable in the swivel on the plate. If the cable tension needs to be adjusted, loosen the locking nut, then rotate the tensioner to increase or decrease the tension. The throttle plate should be in contact with the adjustment screw. With the tension set, tighten the locking nut. Secure the cable with the locking cap and replace the throttle control cover. Reposition the air filter gasket in the housing and realign the air filter in the gasket. Replace the cover and thread the screws to secure. If you need to detach the blower assembly from its frame and separate the housing, first disconnect the primer and intake hoses from the carburetor. Now set the leaf blower on its side and use a 10 millimeter socket to unthread the mounting nuts, securing the blower assembly to the frame. Return the blower to its upright position and use a T27 Torx bit to unthread the screws to release the blower assembly support. Remove the blower assembly from the frame and set it on its side. Remove the nuts and bolts securing the blower hose to the housing. Thank you. 
Use the T27 Torx bit or a flathead screwdriver to unthread the remaining screws, securing the two halves of the housing. You can now separate the housing and set the hose assembly aside. To replace the flywheel, first remove the impeller blade mounting bolts. Lift off the impeller blade. Use a 5 8 inch deep well socket or a spark plug wrench to help loosen the spark plug, then unthread it. Confirm that the piston is in the down position, then insert a cord into the cylinder to prevent the piston from moving. Next, use a 14 mm socket to loosen the flywheel mounting nut. This may require some effort. Unthread the nut. Rethread the nut upside down and use it along with a washer and a flywheel puller to help detach the flywheel. Lift off the old flywheel. Before you install the new flywheel, Confirm that the flywheel key is intact in the crankshaft. Now align the new flywheel on the shaft. Thread and tighten the mounting nut. Remove the cord from the cylinder. and re-thread the spark plug. Be careful not to strip the threads by over-tightening. Reposition the impeller blade. Then thread and tighten the mounting bolts. Confirm that the blower assembly mounts are in place. Then reposition the blower hose assembly and join the two halves of the housing together. Replace the screws to secure. Secure the nuts and bolts as well. Reposition the blower assembly in the frame and rethread the screws into the support. Set the blower on its side, then thread and tighten the mounting nuts on the bottom. Return the blower to its upright position and reconnect the intake and primer hoses to the appropriate ports on the carburetor. To access the handle components, use a 10 mm socket to unthread the adjustment bolt safety cap. Now unthread the wing nut and remove the adjustment bolt. Next, use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread all of the screws, securing the handle.
Separate the two halves of the handle. If you need to replace the throttle lever, lift it off the mounting pin and rotate to detach it from the throttle cable. Reinstall or replace the throttle lever by first attaching the cable, then slide the lever into place on the mounting pin. Confirm that all of the components are in place, then join the two halves of the handle together around the blower hose. Replace all of the screws to secure. Insert the adjustment bolt and tighten the wing nut. Thread on the safety cap. With the leaf blower fully reassembled, reattach the wire in boot to the spark plug, refill the fuel tank, and your leaf blower should be ready for use.